We here at Sony are always thinking about new and exciting ways to fuck over our fan base. We heard your cries for new games. Where's Bloodborne 2? And we decided to ignore them. Instead, what we decided to focus on was getting in our own way. We wish to design the world's first quadruple A gaming console. Why did we call it that? Because that's the sound you'll make when you see the price. Fuck all of you, you'll buy it anyway. This is the PS5 Pro, the future of mediocre gaming. The first thing you'll notice is the lack of features. For instance, you are all probably saying, holy fucking shit, where the fuck is the disk drive? We don't know. But you might also notice these lines right here. What are these? Well, these were meticulously designed to replicate the lines of coke that we were doing in the back when we designed this thing. I did several lines of a hooker's clunge that day. It was fucking awesome. But unfortunately, we didn't stop there. Look here. This is a 3D composite render of an NPC on the PS5 currently. And here is that same model on the PS5 Pro. Amazing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. Good god. Yes, the only thing higher than our pixel count is Lizzo's cholesterol. But how do the games look in motion? Well, look here. Here is a game pushing our PS5 console to the limit. And now here it is on the PS5 Pro. Look at that. And also, here is some gameplay of PlayStation 4 games that are more than three years old at this point for our brand new system. No, we don't see the irony in this. The future of Sony is going places. Not far, but places. So please stay tuned as we continue to create things nobody asked for. The PS5 Pro. $2,000 from your local scalper. Now, is there any questions? Hi, yes. Um, I'm kind of confused. Who is this for? Like, anyone who's a fan of your games already owns a PS5, and if you cared that much about graphics, you could just buy a high-end PC for cheaper, and it will probably run better. I'm here for the games, so, um, where is Parappa the Rapper free? Games? Oh, shit. Um, did somebody say The Last of Us 2? I said, did somebody say- Nobody cares. Why would we pay $700 to play games that work perfectly fine already? Hey, you don't understand. Our engineers worked really hard to ensure that every poor on Abby can be seen while she's getting raw dogged. Aren't these upgrades pointless if the games aren't even optimized for them? You do realize that your audience is in a cost of living crisis and you're trying to sell them a $700 discless console that comes with nothing but a controller and a stand. <laughs> What do you mean it doesn't come with the fucking stand? The original comes with a stand, a disk drive, and it's half the price. Your pro version can't even stand up. Fuck you! Our sweatshop workers produce top quality plastic stands! So, what you're selling to us is a console that your audience already owns a version of, that most developers will not optimize their games for, and whose biggest selling point is how it can make a four-year-old game look a bit better. Exactly! What part of this aren't you getting? All of it? Well, will you say that? Now do you see our biggest announcement? Oh god, there's more? There is Forza Horizon 7. That's Gran Turismo. Looking like fucking dog shit on the PS5. And here it is, on the PS5 Pro. <laughs> <laughs> Our plan is working perfectly, just as you predicted, CEO of Sony Interactive. Yes, today we sell them a console with no stand. Tomorrow, we sell them a console with no games. <laughs> 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 Go, <Brian! laughs>